Welcome to uh, DTV. I'm with uh, Jack Tringove, who's been appointed co-captain with Jack Grimes today, Melbourne Football Club. And Jack, fantastic honour. Uh, congratulations. You must be uh, pinching yourself at the moment. Yeah, thanks, so, mate. Obviously, um, yeah, it came as a bit of a shock, and um, I'm sure Grimes is saying the same things. But you know, it's great to get the opportunity to lead this great club with um, such rich history, and um, really looking forward to it. Now into the history books today, uh, you surpass David Dench as the youngest ever AFL captain, uh, who was 20 as well, but uh, a little bit older. And of course Hayden Bunton, who was the only other 20 year old, so I mean the massive names in the game. Um, how does that feel for you, just uh, knowing history is now uh, your, your part of it? Yeah, I don't know, it hasn't really um, sunk in um, that I'm a co-captain, let alone um, sort of younger than those greats that have um, been captains of the past. But you know, as I said, it's a, it's a great honour and I'm really looking forward to the challenge of trying to get this club um, back up and going. And it's, it's a, I'm very confident with the group that we've got at hand and the le other leaders and um, the team in general. So it's, as I said, it's going to be a great challenge, but one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And it's just your third year of AFL football. I mean, remarkable achievement. Uh, having just been drafted a couple of years ago, um, How's the journey been for you? Because you, you, like Jack Grimes, was also touted as a potential f future captain coming into AFL. It's been sort of talked about along the way. Now now you've got the role. How's that sort of felt, that journey? Yeah, since being drafted, it's all gone quite quickly. You talked to the likes of Brad Green, who's been around for 12 years, and you said, make the most of it because um, it does go very quickly. And probably initially I didn't believe him, but now I'm already three years down the track. and. Um, yeah, it, it comes along very quickly, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, while well, I was touted as a future leader um, from such an early age, it's something that I'm still trying to improve and obviously have a lot of deficiencies still that um, I'm going to be working closely with um, people around the club because we've um, got so, such great past um, captains and coaches and people that are working really close along with Grimesy and the other leaders where we're trying to develop and learn on the job. So yeah, it'll be interesting times, but... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Now, interestingly, uh, despite you being the youngest, you've actually played more games than Jack Grimes. Is that something you can uh, sort of uh, have one up on with all these records coming at the moment? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think five more games is something to really boast about. But uh, he's had a pretty tough time over the years so far with little injuries here and there. But um, he's looking good at the moment and tra <coughs> training the house down. So I think he'll um, come in and probably get back that back off me pretty soon. Your, your leadership style, can you just sort of talk about that? Yeah, um, I mentioned it briefly um, during the, the press conference just to make sure that I'm yeah, really caring of my teammates and you know, caring doesn't always involve praising. You know, caring means that you're looking out for them and trying to get the best out of them by pulling them up if they're not doing the right thing. But um, I think in general I really just want um, individuals within the team to improve and you know, I'll do everything possible and anything that... I can do to make sure that happens, whether it be stay after training and do a few extra hands with a younger bloke or, you know, talk to them one on one off field because they're having a few issues off off of the ground. But um yeah, I'll just be doing anything and then, you know, the old cliche is just lead with your actions and um I'm not much of an outspoken person so I'll be just trying to lead the way and lead from the front out in the training track and um on the field and hopefully everyone follows suit. Despite uh the fact that you're the youngest captain in history of the game now, um, you weren't in the leadership group last year, so you've actually jumped quite significantly from where you were last year. Have you sort of had a moment to reflect on where you were, say, this time last year as opposed to now, and, and how you've advanced in your leadership? Yeah, a lot, a lot has happened over the past year, and um, it's something that I've continually been trying to improve is my leadership skills, and <clears throat> obviously, um, you want to try and help out your teammates and show leadership in that way and it's yeah something that I've been trying to improve and it all has happened quite quickly but I've been talking to a lot of people around the place and just getting ideas and um, learning from them and you know I'm not sure really what to say at the moment because yeah, it is still very surreal but um, yeah as I continue to say it's going to be very challenging but one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And just a quick thought on uh, Jack Grimes your sort of relationship with him as a, as a mate at the club? Yeah, um, since 
being drafted and getting to know a lot of the teammates. Obviously, Grimes has stood out as one that's been um, very professional and um, I think I get along with him pretty well off the field and we're going to have to now, aren't we, because uh, we're in it together. But, um, no, I'm really confident with uh, where he's at at the moment and um, footy-wise he's you know, one of the um, stronger players around in our team and um, he's really going to lead from the front and I'm looking forward to going through this great experience with him. Jack, it's an outstanding achievement uh, to be named in this position at such a young age. Congratulations, well done, and uh, look forward to seeing you captain with Jack Grimes the Melbourne Football Club. Thanks for that, Matty. Much appreciated.